Disconnect the washer from the wall outlet. Lean the washer against the wall and make sure that it's secure. And remove the front panel. Remove the two belts. Remove this rubber cap. You will need to remove this screw and the stop lock key. Remove the screw. And use a pair of pliers to remove the stop lock key. Turn the transmission pulley counterclockwise to take it out. Make sure the bearing came out with it. Remove this screw and the brake package holding clip. Spray some penetrating oil like a liquid wrench and let it soak for a while. This will make it easier to remove the brake package assembly. To remove the brake package you need to use a tool like this. Place the tool on the brake package assembly and use a hammer to break it loose. Use a pair of gloves to protect your hands. Yours may not come out as easy as mine because mine are already taken it out a couple times. When it's loose enough, turn it by hand by turning the tool and turning the transmission on the other side with the other hand. When it's all the way out, remove the tool and take it right out. If the radial bearing didn't come with it, remove the radial bearing by hand too. Clean the area where the brake package screws on with a wire brush. Then put a little bit of grease on it. If the top radial bearing is rusted, you will need to replace it. And this is how you take it out. Grab it with a pair of vice grip pliers and rock it from side to side until it comes out. If the brake assembly is okay, use a wire brush and a degreaser to clean it out. Put the new bearing in the brake assembly and tap it down with a rubber mallet so you don't make no marks on the bearing. Make sure the bearing is pushed all the way in. Put the brake assembly in place and push it and turn it and turn the transmission to with the other hand as far as you could do it by hand. Then use the wrench and the hammer to tighten it. Remove the wrench and install the brake assembly holding clip and secure it with the holding screw. Make it tight, but don't over tighten or you could break the screw. When you tighten the screw, these two points dig into the brake assembly and hold it in place. Clean the transmission pulley with a wire brush and the brake rotor bearing and repack the bearing with bearing grease. Make sure you put the bearing the right way. This is the right way and this is the wrong way. Screw in the transmission pulley with the brake rotor bearing on it. Turn the transmission pulley clockwise until you feel resistance and stop it right there. Install the stop lock key like this. Half inch from here to here. And screw in the holding screw with the washer.
You should have this kind of play when you turn the pulley. Install the rubber cap. Clean the pump and motor pulleys with a wire brush. And install the two belts. The motor to transmission belt first and the motor to pump belt second. If you need to adjust the belts, just watch the video on how to replace the belts. For the best place to buy parts online, I recommend Repair Clinic. When you buy from Repair Clinic, you have 365 days to return any unwanted part for a refund or for a replacement. Check the links on my website.